Hi guys! I went to my mailbox today and my birch box finally came. And let me tell you, my birch box this month is looking like it's had a little bit of a rough go of it. I mean, it just looks like it's had a little bit of a rough trip and originally the information that I got from Birchbox said that it was going to be here on the 14th and it didn't get here until the 17th. So it took an extra couple days and I was really kind of bummed about that. For some reason there was some kind of delay at the post office and it just like sat around for a while before they brought it to me. So here we go. I haven't opened it just like usual except the part that's like damage from the post office. So let's go ahead and unbox or open this together. So I have my scissors as usual. There we go. And last month I really did enjoy my Teen Vogue edition and this month I believe is just a regular birch box. I've tried not to watch too many videos online and I did not look on my birch box to see what I was getting. So this is all new to me and it actually feels pretty heavy this month. So here's my adorable little birch box and then we open it up and there we go. Natural Wonders. The fun little thing that they noted about the Natural Wonders is that they said that the birch boxes are 100% recyclable and made with recycled sustainable sourced materials. So that's kind of a fun little side note for your birch box. It's got this really vibrant like chartreuse green paper in here. And ta-da! And I must say, this thing is full to the top and pretty darn heavy. I would have to say this is probably the most full birch box that I have ever received. Usually it's like, you know, a couple samples floating around in there with a whole bunch of cards, but this is like full to the top. First up, let's go for this big box right here. It is the Be Fine Skin Care Sampler, Easy Does It. This exfoliator and moisturizer duo uses gentle ingredients like rice and brown sugar to keep the skin supple and healthy. Full size, $24 to $25. So here's the little box. It's actually a pretty big size box. It's, you know, bigger than the palm of my hand. It's got some really cute pictures on it too. And I know they've given out a lot of Be Fine products before, and I think the only thing that I've gotten is like a lip treatment thing, and I use it all the time. I actually really like it. So here's what came inside. It comes with five packets. It appears that there are three exfoliators, and it says single serve exfoliating cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats. And I can feel it through the bag. It does, I do feel some, um, texture through the back. This might be fun for some deep exfoliation. And there's the little packages. And they're actually really big size packages. And then there are two packets of the Be Fine Food Skin Care Daily Moisturizer. It says with rosemary, pomegranate, and rice and SPF 15. And once again, these are really big. You could for sure get more than one application of um, moisturizer with this. Um, even if you really heavily moisturize there's at least two uses in each of these and there might be two uses in each of these so I'm really impressed with how much Be Fine product we got this time. The next big product I see is right here and it is just screaming to me. It is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Tellets with Apple and Lemon Peel to cleanse and moisturize all in one. Travel Tellets. It says it comes with eight. They are paraben free and 99% natural. And once again, this is a pretty big size sample. I mean, it's as big as the size of my hand and it says it has eight full wipes in there. Well, since it says it's made with apple and lemon peel, I'm actually kind of interested to smell. And I definitely smell the lemon in here, but it also smells kind of faintly like of herbs. The only unfortunate thing about this is that I opened my packet, it doesn't feel super moist. And then I realized it's kind of like, it's kind of open here at the bottom, like air is coming out of the package. So like this isn't even really truly sealed shut. That's kind of a bummer. The last thing in my box is this little bundle. I always love getting little bundles because it's like this fun little extra present you get to open. So here is my little package. And here is what's inside. So automatically I see a Zoya 
and I am a happy girl. This is my second Zoya polish that came in my birch box, so I'm really excited about this. And it is this beautiful teal kind of springy mint shade, not quite turquoise, not quite mint, not quite teal. Um, and it is in the color Bevin. And I assume this is from their new um, spring collection. This looks like it's going to be a really fun color. So I look forward to trying this out on my nails. I see this little um, packet of hair powder and it is from Lulu Organics. It is lavender and clary sage hair powder. It says it is laced with organic lavender and sage. The sweet smelling dry shampoo revives flat or second day hair. And the full size is $30. It's really funny because up here at the top it says for hair on days of unwash. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of dry shampoos. Um, I have really really fine hair and after the first day it tends to start looking a little limp and not so fresh. So I actually use dry shampoo all the time to freshen up in between washes because I definitely don't want to wash my hair every day. It takes too much time. It dries out your hair. Um, so I love using dry shampoos. Let me just give this a little open here and then I can take a peek and at least see what it smells like because I've tried several dry shampoos and if they smell funny then your hair smells funny all day or you walk around feeling like you smell like baby powder and I absolutely do not like that. A dry shampoo could perform wonderfully but if it smells, if it has just this really strong scent with it, I will not use it. Absolutely not. I tore open the packet a little bit here just so I could sneak a scent and it is really strongly scented so I hope it doesn't linger too badly because that would be really unfortunate. And lastly we have a fragrance sample of Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck and the packaging is quite adorable. There we go, the bottle looks beautiful. And it comes in the little tube without the little spray nozzle, which I really appreciate getting a little spray nozzle even on these little perfume samples because I just hate doing this. I inevitably at some point like pop the top and it splashes everywhere. So I'm going to try to be really careful here. I know this has been out for a good while now and I don't think I've gotten the chance to smell this. Okay, there we go. So let's give it a try. Accident avoided. So the little packet here and the card, neither of them really describe what the fragrance is. I would say it's definitely a very feminine fragrance and I don't know. I think there's just some notes in there that aren't really my style, but I happen to be really, really picky about fragrances, so um, I'll probably give this one more try and then if I don't like it, then someone else can have it. So that is it for my April 2012 Birchbox, and I have honestly been really impressed with Birchbox this year. I know kind of towards the end of last year, it was like, come on Birchbox, let's get it together. And I feel like they've really put forth the effort. They listened to us, um, all those Birchbox fans out there, and they have really, you know, brought us some great products at the start of this year. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you got in your Birchbox this month or what your favorite box has been so far. I think this one was fantastic, but so far nothing beats the one that came with my beauty blender. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!